emergency plan and make its home power backup with clean energy from Goal Zero. Go to GoalZero.com to learn more. If you see a student being bullied, be supportive. Ask them to pay and invite them to join you. You'll be an ally and you can make a friend. Friendship! Visit StopBullyingSpeakUp.com and join Cartoon Network to redraw your world without bullying. Correspondent Jim Taylor looks back. The songs she wrote and sang were about whatever is bothering me at the time. And what often bothered her was her husband, Oliver. He was known as Dew. His cheating, drinking ways inspired plenty of Loretta's music. And don't come home. Music star Loretta Lynn, dead at the age of 90. CBS News Special Report. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Here at home, a lot of concern about eviction and the moratorium on evictions. When will it end? We get the story live this morning on some new action at LA City Hall today from our John Barrett. Was talking about ending the moratorium, the eviction moratorium, by the end of January. But the tenants say it's too soon, that they're still suffering from the pandemic. They haven't regained the income levels they had before, and that rents in LA are very high, and that people would end up on the streets if they end this moratorium now. We need to maintain the protection um, so that we can, you know, like, that we can recover taken advantage of and they need this to end especially the small mom and pop landlords we're unable to pay our bills we have the tenant that's not paying their bill and they haven't paid us since march 2020. chris and vicky councilman mike bonin wants permanent renter protections in place before they repeal the COVID eviction moratorium and he claims that most rental units in the city are owned by corporations and not small mom John, thank you. 733, we're back in record territory again when it comes to gas prices. The average cost of regular gas up by just over two cents again today in LA and Orange Counties, uh, which has produced new all time highs of almost 649 a gallon in LA County, uh, 645 in the OC, uh, and there were even bigger overnight increases in the Inland Empire, San Diego, and Ventura County. Just uh, watch out again. There is this chase going on. This is in Glendora, west on the two. W sedan just now weaving in and out of cars. So heads up for that. Looking kind of dangerous at this point. We're going to get an update from our traffic team in just a minute. And anytime we're talking about trucks, zero emission trucks, and this uh, decision to try to get them all tw by 2050 across the country, these zero emission trucks, and the American Lung Association likes the idea. Essentially what we did with this report was look at every county in the United States and analyze what the public health benefits could be due to cleaner air in those communities that are most impacted by truck traffic. These trucks are major air polluters. At the national scale, medium and heavy duty vehicles make up about 6% of the total on-road vehicle population, but generate over half of the harmful air pollution. Will Barrett is National Senior Director for Clean Air Advocacy with the American Lung Association. In California, the transportation sector is about 80% forming emissions and heavy duty trucks are a major major share of that he says benefits would include over a hundred billion dollars in public health benefits in california alone 9300 lives could be saved because the air would be cleaner as we make this transition to zero emission trucking and we reduce asthma tax by 270,000. wow this uh this chase in the glendora area this morning west on the 210 i mean i am just nervous looking at Let's get some more on the press right now. Yeah, 735 traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives. Jennifer. All right, so look, it started in Walnut. It was a residential burglary. So then they headed west on Valley, got on the 60, then they went north 605, east 210, got off at San Dimas, then got back on the west 210. That's where we are now. now remember I said when we were from the last report, he's going north on the 605. If he goes west, he's going to hit a bunch of traffic. If he goes east, he's not going to have any. Well, he went east, but then for some time, and turn around. 
around and go back on the westbound 210, which is where Scott is right now, and he's been driving very erratic. Let's go to Scott. He's flying in the Southern California Toyota dealer sky to me. Scotty, what do you see? Okay, so they actually kind of backed off the ground units here. They were just following with a helicopter. Uh, this person was driving on the right shoulder, probably doing 100 miles an hour, again, at very heavy here on the 210 westbound. It looks like they might have just uh, exited the freeway here at Citrus. We had eyeballs on this car, but I just lost them. But uh, again, I do believe they might have gotten off the freeway here at Citrus from the 210 westbound, Jen. All right, so look, I, I, I can see it, uh, and it's, it looks like he might be getting off, but we don't know he might be getting back on. He's been taking the right shoulder a lot now. Unfortunately, the westbound side of the 210, you know, these, these are families driving to school and going to work, and that's why when I see him cutting in and out of traffic like this, it's horrible, which he just did again. Uh, and I don't know if he's going to stay on or get back on, but yes, we're right around the Citrus off-ramp on the westbound side of the 210. All right, let's talk about other freeways. Westbound side of the 10, really tough from Azusa over to the 605. Uh, the, the westbound Santa from Azusa over to the 605. Your northbound Santa Ana, my goodness, uh, that is just slammed from the Norwalk area heading up into East L.A. North and southbound Harbor, I don't have any crashes on it, but boy, between the 105 and downtown, it's also very, very tough this morning. Again, we're, I'm looking at this uh, pursuit. He's only going about 50 now, but he's continuing to stay. If you're listening to us and you're right around, say, the Monrovia area, the Anthicify Monrovia, that's where he is. So just hang tight, and we'll try to give you the very, very latest. Our next report is at 745 from the Pointy Hill Sunday 24-hour traffic center. Uh, mostly sunny today, slightly warmer than yesterday. Beach highs getting into the lower 80s, mid-80s, inland areas, mid-90s, and the valleys over tomorrow more sunshine right now 63 degrees clear skies downtown la at 737 you know when we say only going 50 but these other cars are you know some of them stopped or going slowly and you get hit that's a big deal that's significant and this guy is just going so close weaving out of these uh, cars and trucks and tankers and all that so dangerous situation heads up keep an eye and out we, we have so many of these as well tom trying and myself during the midday portion of our broadcast here on knx but you know you look at this time of the day right now and it made a very good point there's so kids in the yeah. car taking them to school people heading to work very dangerous situation we're on top of it feds are urging a vaccination get your flu shot that's what they're saying and uh, there was a survey that found only about half of the adults in the u.s say they plan to get it the cdc director michelle Molinsky told uh, briefing this morning that people can get the flu and the covid shot together at the same time if you want to that is of over 450,000 people conducted throughout the covid 19 pandemic indicate that it's safe to get both the covid 19 vaccine and the flu vaccine at the same time a cdc study published this summer in jama found that people who got a flu and covid 19 vaccine at the same time were only slightly more likely to experience mild side bit more about this um, and all things health related at 745. So coming up in just a few minutes with Dr. David Ames of USC. Will he or won't he? President Biden apparently plans to run for a second term in 2024, according to the Reverend Al Sharpton, the civil rights leader, telling employees of his National Action Network that the president shared the month, Biden said, Mr. Biden said, it was uh, much too early to make any decision relaunching it, launching rather a re-election bid. Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker's girlfriend's abortion back in 2009. He was on Fox Hannity show talking about it. Uh, the claims, which included a get well card signed by him, a check, a personal check, and a receipt from an abortion clinic. I sent out so many get well, uh, sent out so much of anything, but I can tell you right now, I never asked anyone to get an abortion. I never paid for an abortion, and it's a lie. Daily Beast was out with the story, and there's a statement on Twitter. Daily Beast for what he said is a, quote, defamatory lie. Well, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, now the latest high-profile politician in our nation's capital to endorse Congresswoman Karen Bass. Mayor of Los Angeles. Sanders releasing a statement today saying Abbas will work to end homelessness, create good paying jobs, and lower the crime rate. The Congresswoman also has received endorsements from President Biden, Vice President Harris, and uh, the local labor unions. Her opponent, Rick Caruso, is being backed by former LA Mayor Rick, uh, Richard Rear. Several celebrities as well. Uh, KNX will be hosting Bass and Caruso. It's debate uh, Thursday coming up. Uh, debate Thursday, we'll call it. Yeah.